It's game time. Today, 10 tenacious teens have journeyed to Splatalot to go head to head with the defiant defenders as they strive to capture the highly coveted crown of Splatalot. Let's get this party started, y'all. Will these defenders be able to keep the castle safe from the attackers, preserve the kingdom of Splatalot, and in the end, reign victorious? Who will tumble? Who will tilt? Who will teeter? And who will go splat? Hello and welcome to Splatalot. I'm Jason Agnew, and with me, as always, up here in the splat-proof shack, is Matt. I should be dancing, Chin. I don't remember anyone ever calling me that before. Then maybe it's me who feels like I should be dancing. Let's just take a look at the castle. All ten attackers will start at attempting to cross the merciless moat, with the fastest six moving on to ditch the dungeon. The four who survive that will advance to our capture the crown round for their shot at taking home the crown of splat alive. How long is this whole dancing thing gonna go on for? For as long as it takes, Maddie. As long as what takes? For you to feel the groove, too. Describe the moat, please. The attackers will start by being launched out of the splatapult, then it's up the slippery slope and across the super spiky mace roll. At this point, the attackers will take on the impossible incline and go up and over the beastly battle axes. Then it's a slick slide on the bridge of disaster and a leap with the help of the debilitating disc to the finished platform. Time to introduce the best part of splat a lot. I'm talking about the defenders. On the moat, we have the trio of... Madiva! I'm vain, bro. This is gonna be fun. I promise. <laughs> and you know Fatal's not gonna lie to you. Fatal, Mediva, and Vade. It's a great day to be a defender. I can't wait to meet our attackers. I can't wait for our attackers to meet our moat. Mediva's setting up on the Splatzooka. Fatal's got a Splatzooka of her own. And Vane is lining up on the Aqualizer. The fun has arrived. Thank you very much. Loves to break dance. I love this kid already. Therefore, I don't. The Splat have arrived. <laughs> Gaden, say cheese. Medieval with the slimy sidearm. Always a nasty little choice. Keenan shaking it off. And now the mace is shaking Keenan off. Break dance, Keenan. Do a little break dance. Oh, yeah. Make it move. Loving it. Loving it. What in the world was that? Almost break dancing? Keenan, you're my favorite break dancing attacker ever. Keenan is indeed showing us his moves as he grooves off the incline and into the moat. That's all he's got. Looks like he's got more as he takes on the beastly battle axe and can't stick the landing. What's up, Keenan, bro? I heard you like cheesy jokes. You want to hear a joke about pizza? Ah, it's too cheesy. He's heard that one before, Vane. That joke was worse than your dancing, Jay. Thanks, Maddie. Wait a second. Maddie Keenan is up on the debilitating disc. I think we're about to find out why they call it that. Bring on the break dancing as Keenan pops and locks his way to a 642. Sounds good to me. Here she goes! Wow! Hey, Hannah, I heard you like to dance. You go show me a dance, girl. Woo! Yeah! Yes, girl! Oh! There she goes! There is a definite theme developing here, and I think it's gonna be a dance party in the castle. We're gonna get this party started. <laughs> exactly, but how about a little less dancing and a lot more splatting? On your feet, Hannah! She's gonna have to stand up if she wants to make it across, and up she goes, and oh! I'm okay. Hannah's more than okay in my book, so she gets today's splat party started, y'all. Where'd she go? She's over on the finish platform with a very fast 625, y'all. I'm a titan. What does that mean? You can't touch me. I can't touch you. It says here that Shania's scared of clowns. Ow! That's how we do it here, you know. I'm still trying to figure out the whole I'm a Titan thing. Whoa! Oh no, she saw a clown! <laughs> that even terrified me! Well, she's made a recovery from that circus shiver. Whoa! Oh! Hello, who's there? Can anybody hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear this? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect setup by Vane. But he can't knock her off the bridge as Shania holds on. Give it a second. It's a slow burn, Jay. And Shania goes splat. That splat's not enough to stop her as she clocks in with a 724. Time for some slime to clash with that Titan. Willpower! Hi, Parker. I hear you're all for fair play. It's true. So let's make sure we give them all the splats that the other three got. Maybe a couple more? Too bad I'm only for fair splat. 
<laughs> Parker ignores all the trash talk from Fatal and is already on the debilitating disc. Here comes the shower, dude. I know you need it. You're stinky. Oh, I'm glad it's Parker. I was worried it was me. You stink too. But he didn't stink on the disc there, and not even Bane can stop Parker's willpower scoring a top time of 519. I do stink. Give me liberty or give me splat! I don't know about liberty, Alvin, but you're definitely gonna get a lot of splat. Alvin's lining up a walk on the impossible incline, quickly followed by the impossible incline splat. Oh, oh my! No liberty here, Alvin. Sorry. And if there's no liberty, then I guess it's time for the battle axe splat. Maybe not, as Alvin holds on. Oh! Maybe so, Jason. That's the second time today an attacker has misjudged the final step. And the result is a liberating splat. Alvin's okay, but the big DNF means he didn't finish. You seriously dance like my dad does at weddings. Juan Antonio Chin taught me everything I know. Jealous? No. Parker has the lead with a 519, followed by Hannah, Keenan, and Shania, while Alvin did not finish. Is this dancing gonna stop soon? Not as long as I can still feel the beat, baby. <laughs> Coming up, more dancing and more splatting when Splatalot returns. Welcome back to Splatalot. I'm the man with the moves, Jason Agnew, and this is the man that refuses to move, Matt Chin. What is wrong with you, Jason? I have dance fever, Maddie, and there doesn't seem to be a cure. Check in the leaderboard. Parker's the fastest time so far with a 519. And Alvin is out. Mediva looks good to go. Fatal is looking good. And Vane is there. For Krypton! Another dancer. Is it a bird? Is it a bird? It's a splat! Ha <laughs> ha! FYI, kids, Jarrell is also the name of Superman's father. So it's going to be all Superman jokes on this run. And he's faster than a speeding locomotive going over the mace wall. He's got it, he's got it, he's not. It was like he thought he could actually hold on. But when the mace spikes did their thing, then Jarrell came crashing down to Earth. Or at least crashing down into the moat. Jarrell is shaking it off now and tries to figure out the incline. Oh! My! He didn't have to be a brainiac to figure this one out. It's two steps forward and a little dance move that leads him right into the splat. Now he just needs to take on Vane at the Aqualizer, and he's home free. Shouldn't be a problem for the father of Superman, right, Jay? Or maybe that rope is made of kryptonite. Still, Jarrell dances his way to an 804. Call the plumber, because these pipes are going to burst. Kelsey's ripped. Woo! She might want to trade some of those muscles for a little more balance. Case in point. The yeah, play, girl, just over. <laughs> On to the axes. Uh -uh. I knew you could handle it. Kelsey is refusing to be splatted. Too bad she doesn't have a choice. Whoa! Fatal oh. knew she could handle it, but I wasn't so sure. More than those pipes are going to burst if she keeps this up. Look, Maddie, Kelsey's joining our dance party with the time of 5.45. Your dance party. You're going down. She's telling herself that, right? I think this pint-sized powerhouse may surprise you, Maddie. She is so cute. She was so cute! And just like that, Talia is the one going down. Just like she called it. Talia, you like to sing? Yeah. Oh, girl, can you say Splatter Day? Splatter Day? Oh, yes! She got so! Uh -huh. Can you hear that? Look at the No time to look when you're splatting. So close yet so far. <laughs> And over to the battle axe as we go. The water blast takes her out. The water blast causes Talia to do the full-on splits in an attempt to hold on. No dice. I'm afraid Talia's 1107 just won't be enough to crack the top six. Check out her slime face. What's happening, Splatalot? The first thing happening is you getting shot out of the Splatapult. Amy, there is not much happening in the moat, if that's what you're looking for. Amy flew through the slope and mace. Can she keep going? She kept going all right. Amy, what's happening? Not much. Not much, you're telling me. I don't know. I think there's a lot happening as Amy tries the cautious approach on the impossible incline, and that ends up with the aimster going knees over noggin into the moat. Amy's ready to take a shot at the battle axes. You just know where this is going. Ouch. And there it is. And with a 1234, Amy's day is done. Next stop, Splatagascar. I have no idea where that is. Oh, it's right next to Chinland, buddy. Oh. We catch up with James at the battle axis, and he's fighting back. The water blast will take care of that. You know what they say, James? When in Splatagascar, 
Splat. <laughs> so are we in Splatagascar right now? I'm beginning to think so when I see splats like this one. Way to go, Jamsy Bear. This is probably really annoying for you. The disc claims another victim. And a 420. Take me with you. I want to go to Splatagascar. James clocks today's top time. Looks like Jarrell is going back to Krypton. Joining James in the dungeon will be Parker, Kelsey, Hannah, Keenan, and Shania. Still got dance fever, huh, Jay? It's no joke, Maddie. I want to stop, really, I do. But I have dance fever. I am hot. I'm burning up. Well, we need to find you a cure. Coming up, can we cure Jason's dance fever? Find out when Splatalot continues. Welcome back to Splatalot. I'm very exhausted, Jason Agnew, alongside my co-host. His name is Metchin. If you're just joining us, Jason has dance fever and can't stop dancing. It started out fun, but now, just pain. Just painful. Tell us who's moving on to the next round, Jay. Okay. We have James, Kelsey, Hannah, Parker, Shania, and Keenan. And how about some details on the dungeon? You gotta do it. You got to. Take it, take it, take it. Okay. Ditch the dungeon starts with the attackers in the stock market. They then escape that to run across the splat walk and climb the loathsome ladder. They're trying to get one of the four flags that will put them into the final round. The best part is the defenders will be giving them the business with all they've got. Six go up, two go home. Time to introduce our three new defenders, starting with... Gah! Followed by... I am Thor. And finally... Kukumara. It's going to be great. Ah. Ah. I hate magic. Oh! Oh! That was crazy. How did they do that? Hold on, Maddie. I'm getting my second win. We have James in green, Kelsey in pink, Hannah in zebra, Parker in blue, Shania in blue and orange, and Keenan in orange. Scabs on the froth brother, thorns on the splatter batter, and Kook has a basket of goo grenades. And there's the horn. What are the attackers waiting for? Go! Not a good start for these guys. Slow and steady wins the race, Maddie. They've got the slow part down. And they're on the other side of the gate. What's happening? Shades of Hulk Hogan, brother. I need some fun. Scat's having trouble getting the brother going. The attacker should wait till he's ready. There we go. And we're back to normal. Hannah's first in the water. Really good job, everyone. Cook's very casual today. Oh. Ah. Still does the trick on Keenan. They can't seem to get a grip. Again, they're really good at the slow part. And down goes James. This might take forever today. Can Parker use his willpower to break out? Very nice. Coop's gonna shut that down real quick. Two for one special, today only on the Lonesome Ladder. What a bargain! And now they have Thorn to deal with. Fantastic. Not the word I was thinking of. Let's see what oh. James thinks of the water. Oh, it's cold. That's what I like to hear. How's Kelsey doing? Don't put your hand up, it's not gonna do much. I guess he's right. Nothing can stop that phone. Look out for Scab. Too late for Parker. Maybe these guys should just quit. Never. Maybe the defenders should just quit. Never. Come on, James. Get back up there. The water hasn't gotten any warmer. And Kelsey can't seem to get it done. She may have oversold those pipes. Keenan's coming back down. And take Shania with them. What's up? I don't know what's up, but I know what's going down. Kelsey. Hey, guys. Don't mention this to the attackers. Yeah. But I think it's time for the balls of doom. The balls of doom? And don't say anything. Okay, Thorn! Don't tell them it's time for the balls of doom. No, I won't tell them it's time for the balls of doom. We don't want to let them know. Oh, no. Uh, I think the cat's out of the bag. That took out everyone. Not quite, Maddie. James is hanging on. I told you they were going to do that. I knew it. They may have known it was coming, but it didn't really matter as the ball of doom was unstoppable. I can still feel my molars rattling. Thorn on the slimy slicer. Hey, James. And Scab takes care of James. Shania. And Shania, too. Hey, that's all you have to do. I talk to them, and they fall themselves. Ah. Oh, let me try it. Keenan. Yes, it totally works. Scab, I don't want you to let anyone know this, but I think we may have another ball of doom on our hands. OK, Thorn. Scab. Shh. All right, don't tell them it's a ball of doom. Uh, maybe. Here it is. It's the ball of doom. Oh. I knew it! They always come in pairs! Worst kept secret in the castle. Again, James holds on and Shania too. Sure, but look at this. One, two, three attackers get nailed. Nice work, Ball of Doom. You've got to believe James is going to be one of the four to advance. Not if Thorn has anything to do with it. 
and Scab takes care of Shania, and Kelsey once more gets shot back into the water. Oh, oh, oh Hannah and Parker accidentally take out Keenan. That's no accident. These attackers are evil. Thorn is really laying it in to James. And Coop busts out the Axe of Justice. Hold on to this. The Axe of Justice? I've never heard it called that before. I just made it up. I slayed the Marty James. I have a feeling he'll be back. Either that or he's off to splat at Gasgar. Oh, I'm so tired. What an amazing move, sacrificing himself to take away the Axe of Judgment. It's justice, Jay. It sure is, as Hannah has the first flag, followed by Keenan. Looks like Hannah and Keenan are taking their dance party into round three, but who's gonna join them? I don't see James out there. But we do see Shania and Parker, and our dance card is full for the Capture the Crown round. Gotta feel bad for James. He really cleared the way for the others. Fine, but Kelsey still has to do her slide of shame. Okay, you got a flag, we can all see that. Just calm down. I think they more than earned that celebration. Dancing their way to the final round will be Hannah, Keenan, Shania, and Parker. Wow, that dance fever just won't quit, huh, Jay? Apparently, the only way for me to lose that fever is to see someone dance worse than me. Coming up, we might see Matt dance, and one attacker is gonna win the crown when Splatterlock can lose. We're back with the final round of Splat a lot. Jason Agnew, dancing fool, my co host Matt Chen. Jason has dance fever, and the only cure is to see someone dance worse than him. Unfortunately, I'm too awesome. Final four attackers we got Parker, and then there's Keenan, that was Shania, and Hannah. Yeah. Take a big breath, Jason, and show us the course. Okay, I can do this. <gasps> Our Capture the Crown round starts with a slow run through the dire mire. A hop over the barrier of all barriers, then it's time to cross the terrifying tees in order to confront the scary go round. Extra scary today, Maddie, because just above, the splack and loose. Attackers have to avoid that in order to make it over to the annihilating arm and onto the gruesome twosome. Then it's a walk in front of the clobbering cannons and a jump to the royal rams. Ooh, ooh, a leap to the rock ball to victory, where finally, for one lucky attacker, that's the crown of splat oh, baby, yeah. And don't forget that all six of our defenders will be joining them out there and making every step a challenging one and every jump miserable. Oh my gosh, more, but our attackers are into it. Hannah in zebra, Shania in light blue and orange, Keenan in orange, and Parker, that's him in blue. They better be up for Vane on the splat bow, Fatal in sunglasses, Thorn on the vicious vaporizer, Scab and Mediva mocking Jay, and Kook on the aqualizer. Again with the waiting, what's with these attackers? Well, it may have taken a few blasts of the horn, but they finally got the hint and are now waist deep in the mire. That's mud. Yes, it's mud and so much more. Now they need to get over the barrier. Keenan has no problem. Here comes Parker, done. Can the girls follow? Hannah's up and over, and Shania is there. Here's Keenan through the gate. Whoa. The name's there to greet Whoa. them. <laughs> is that all you got? Bring it on. Some taunting from Keenan. Never a good idea. Water blast. Almost got him, but he holds on as he's made the crossing. Run, little zebra! The zebra known as Hannah has met her match on the tees. Keenan now going for the scary. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, indeed. He goes for the jump, oh. and he makes it. Too bad. Next up, the annihilating arm. He's up and hanging on. Let's check in on Parker. The defenders are on him, and I guess there's no tees in Parker. Keenan is over to the other side of the arm, and down he goes. How about Shania on the tees? How about Shania off the tees? Here goes Parker onto the scary go round. Where's the splacking? And now Hannah has joined them, or not. Parker, you can't just park it there, Parker. And he doesn't as he's lining up for the gruesome twosome. Here's Shania making it onto the scary. And Thorne heating up the vapors. Oh! You are Splack and I missed you. That was the kind of Splat I've been waiting for all day as Parker finds out why I love the Splackin' so much. I guess the Splackin' has willpower too. I'm good. He's good to go, but is Hannah. She's taking a shot at the annihilating arm. And she's on. Fane and Fatal need to end that quickly. Here goes Parker for the twosome. Not really close. Hannah's on the other oh, side, and she did it. Yeah, buddy, woo! Thorn isn't gonna like that. She makes an attempt at the twosome, and the party stops there. Look at Shania going for it on the annihilating arm. Sideways? That never works. It's just a matter of time before she finds that out for herself. That Titan is going for a swim. Here's some syrup for ya. Thorn did just enough to send Keenan into the swamp. Oh, it's Hannah! Time to check out this showdown. Oh. Oh. Now run. Okay, go. 
Played to perfection. What up, Parker? Now you must run. Then you must splash. Cannon time? I love it. Check out all the action. It's impossible to keep up. Especially when you're exhausted from dancing, right, Jay? You know it, buddy. Oh, Keenan goes down. And Parker joins him. Got two for one. Bucket of slime for Shania. Thanks a lot, Scab. Just a stinky zipper. Don't touch the cannon. Oh, no, they did it. Oh, yes, Hannah did, Mediva. Come on, defenders. Oh, don't make me do it. Look at that stretch. Hannah showing up phenomenal flexibility. I'm in pain just watching. That looked like cheating. I'm glad she fell off. Here's Parker. You're my favorite attacker. Oh, and Fatal loses the handle on her slime stick. And here comes Hannah for another attempt. Parker's up. And Fatal takes him out. Here comes Hannah with another impossible stretch. Oh, there she go again. Parker's back again, too. Did she go again? She sure did. Don't let the zebra get it. Parker's trying to make it close. Oh. Fail. Hannah is so close to the top, can anyone catch her? The defenders are my only hope. But here comes Parker once again. Some for you. Parker, go, you so close. Parker is up. It's a two-attacker race to the finish. We've got a Pier 6 brawl. It's neck and neck as Parker takes the lead, and the defenders are beside themselves. Come on, guys, fire away. Too late as Parker has made the last step, and he quickly has the crown. So long, Keenan. Sayonara, Shania. Keep trying, Hannah. Hello, King Parker. Maddie, I am desperate to see a lousy dancer and end my dance fever. I challenge you to show me how awesome a dancer you are, buddy. Fine, Jay, but be prepared to be amazed. Okay, that was the worst. But hey, now I'm cured. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I <laughs> thought I was amazing. Just like the splat of the day. I could watch our new King Parker get splackened all day. Not much of a surprise for my choice for splat of the day. The moat was smooth sailing for our new monarch. He then overcame adversity on the ladder and came from behind to complete his journey to the crown. Woo! My first official act as king of splat -a -lot is to have one of you thrown into the moat. I wish it could be all of you, but today I've chosen Vane. Vane, that makes absolutely no sense to me. I think Vane is always a good choice. Give me one good reason. Well, he's full of himself, he's annoying. I only asked for one. And that about wraps it up for us. I'm Jason Agnew. This is Matt Chin saying see you next time on Splat -a -Lot. Do you really think I'm a bad dancer? I really do. Juan Antonio Chin taught me everything I know.